Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Myers. I'm the founder and medical director of Austin Ultra Health. And today's video is going to be on the ion panel. Now this is the most, uh, third most common test that I probably run in my practice. And it's a very, very comprehensive um, analysis of generally somebody's state of health and their nutritional status. So I did this test on myself um, when I was first getting into functional medicine and it was very eye-opening. So I recommend this test um, really for my sickest patients. So people who are coming in with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, uh, depression, anxiety, um, ADD, um, mood, mind, energy issues, things like that. So autoimmune diseases, those are typically the people who end up getting this test or who I recommend it for. The other uh, types of people that end up uh, getting this test or wanting this test are people reaching milestones in their life, 40, 50, 60th birthday, things like that. Someone really wanting a general overview of what really is their state of health, as well as, um, as, well as people who are on a lot of supplements and wanna know if they're working for them. So let's go over the test and um, we'll take it from there. So the first several pages, this is a 27 page long uh, test. Um, the results come back, it's both blood and urine. So if you're a patient um, on your first visit, you'll go ahead and get the blood portion of that drawn here in our office, you'll be fasting. And then you'll take the urine part home with you. So the first um, three pages are really looking at your amino acids. So there are some essential amino acids that we can only get from our diet. If you're not eating them, your body is not making them. So our amino acids help build our, our muscles and, um, and are the building blocks of proteins and ultimately go in and make our neurotransmitters. So that's really why I like to do this on people with mood, mind, um, ADD issues, things like that. I've really been able to get a lot of people off some pretty heavy duty psychiatric medications and um, kids and adults off ADD medications by going through this test. So, um, and then for me personally, I was a vegetarian for 27 years and by seeing my amino acids were all, you know, in the toilet, um, I, it really made me realize that I needed to get some more proteins in me and so um, I started adding some, some uh, animal protein back into my diet. So the first couple of pages um, of this test um, are this, which is uh, very somewhat similar to the stool test in that the little black dots are you, and then typically prior to your visit, I have a black line drawn to where I like to see you. Now, in this particular patient, um, they're actually doing pretty well. A lot of people that I see coming in with energy issues, again, mood, mind issues, things like that, their amino acids are um, way, um, looking at this backwards, uh, way down here in the red typically. This patient is not, they actually look pretty, pretty good. So the first page is really looking at your um, essential amino acids, the ones you have to get from your diet. And then the next couple of pages are still on those amino acids, but showing um, where in the body it's utilized. And where I wanna focus on in, um, is uh, here, this one's looking at um, your precursors to your neurotransmitters. So again, um, not too bad, but she is a little low here. Again, a lot of times I see people way down here in the red who are having mood, mind, concentration issues, and we can just directly relate it back to that they don't have enough of the amino acids they need to make it. So when you're having depression or anxiety, you don't have a Lexapro deficiency. When you have ADD, you do not have a... Um, Ritalin deficiency, what you have is some imbalance likely in your neurotransmitters. And so the beauty of this test is we can actually see what you're missing and we can solve it um, by changing your diet. Again, we talked about in the last video, it's not you are what you eat, but you are what you digest and absorb. So if you watch the previous video on the gut and the stool test that I do, we made the connection that that person was not um, probably digesting their proteins very well from low stomach acid. So again, you could be eating all the right things in this example, maybe if this person had very low amino, if the same person had very low amino acids, it could simply be again that they were on an acid blocker, they're not digesting um, or absorbing their proteins very well, so, or their amino acids that, that then will turn into um, breaking down their proteins into amino acids and then they get built back up into proteins once they're in the body again. 
So um, what we do in a situation such as this is if it's a vegetarian or a vegan, try to see if they're willing to um, alter the diet to include more protein, whether that's animal protein or non-animal protein, but really talking about the diet. So changing the diet's the number one thing we wanna do in every situation. Fixing the gut's the second thing that we wanna do. Um, and then the third thing that we can do is this test partners with a, another company that will blend a customized amino acid formula specifically for you. Now, the advantage of that is it's free-form amino acids, so they cross right through the, gut, uh, through the gut and do not need to be digested. They just get absorbed. And so for a lot of patients, we use that as a bridge, just something temporary so that they can go ahead and get the effects, get off their medications, be feeling better naturally by getting these amino acids while we're in the process of changing the diet and fixing the gut. That could take two, three months. So while we're doing that on the side, we're going ahead and giving this free form amino acid blend so that the patient can go ahead and feel better, um, get off their medications if that's something that they're wanting to do and, um, and have those amino acids naturally. So again, we just use that as a bridge, typically for one, maybe two months at the most for patients who are very, very deficient in their amino acids. Of course, if it's one or two, they can take a supplement of that, just one particular amino acid. So many patients have found that very helpful. Um, I've had uh, a patient who had ADD, um, um, has been to the ADD specialist in the country, did the whole spec scan, diagnosed with ADD, and um, said for the first time in his life when he took this amino acid formula that a light bulb just came on and that um, he felt himself for the first time and was able to focus without being on that, uh, without being on Ritalin. So it's, it's been pretty um, life-changing and pretty profound for a lot of my patients by going on this amino acid blend if they need to. So that's the first couple of pages of the test, and we still have about 25 more to go. So um, it's a very complete test, as you can see. The next thing it checks for is a homocysteine level, and a homocysteine level is sort of um, how what your, um, what your uh, state of health is regarding B6, B12, and folinic acid. Now this is a complex issue um, regarding the MTHFR gene, uh, of which I have several mutations. So the more mutations you have at that gene, uh, the more just naturally based on your genetics, your requirements for B6, B12, and folinic acid are. So um, when you don't have enough B6, B12, or folinic acid, either because you're not eating it or getting it through your diet, or you possess so many mutations like I do that even if you were eating bundles of kale a day like I do, um, I still need to supplement with some pre-methylated B6, B12, and folinic acid. So um, when you're low in those vitamins, homocysteine tends to rise in the blood. Now, you can have a normal homocysteine but have these mutations like I do. Um, so this is just sort of a screening marker, but typically I check an MTHFR on everybody, and then this test will really dig down and see what we're doing with our B vitamins. That's really the point of this test. So it does check for a homocysteine. Um, goes through and looks inside our red blood cells where all the reactions take place, um, what our nutrients look like, our magnesium, our potassium, our zinc, our selenium. We need many of these things for our body, obviously, to function, our thyroid to function. Um, and then it's also doing a screening marker for heavy metals. Now, this person looks pretty high in some heavy metals, particularly down here at Mercury. So um, my first question to them would be, are they eating sushi? Is sushi one of their favorite foods? And do they have amalgam silver fillings? Now, this test screening for the heavy metals is really, it's a red blood cell screen. So it's just looking at the, um, your exposure over the last three months, the life of the red blood cell, your exposure to these toxic elements, um, such as lead and mercury and cadmium. And so it's really not the one that we wanna be looking at for lifelong or long-term exposure, like with children with autism and, and uh, people with chronic fatigue and uh, fibromyalgia and things like that. We would do a whole different um, test, which we can go over in another video. It's called a, um, uh, a challenge, chelation challenge test. And that really looks at what's stored in your bones. But this will give me some idea of if you've been eating a lot of tuna fish or high um, heavy metal fish, or if um, you have some silver fillings.
Okay, so the next page goes over and looks at all your fat soluble vitamins. So CoQ10, vitamin E, vitamin A, and then looks to look at your oxidative stress levels. Um, and then looking to uh, see what your vitamin D level is. Now, if we don't do this test, I check for vitamin D and homocysteine. Those are things that we can get through the conventional CPL or Quest lab. So I check those on everybody. So don't worry if you're um, wanting to do this test, but don't end up doing this test. And then the next couple of pages really look at the person's fats. So their omega-3s, the good, healthy, um, the good healthy uh, omegas and looks at our omega sixes, our nines, and then the next couple of pages go in and look at our fat soluble, um, excuse me, all of our saturated fats, trans fats, and um, and whatnot. So this person, mm, this is their um, what I like to point out to people right here is trans fat level. So definitely creeping up. We'd like this number to be down there. So when I see that elevated, I think this person's been eating some packaged foods that contain trans fats. Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, this, blood, this is a blood test and also urine test. So all of that that we just talked about was the blood portion of the test. And now the last several pages will be the urine portion of the test. And this is actually one of my favorite parts. I love this is, um, I love getting this part of the test. And the reason is because it's really taking everything that you're putting into your body and looking at functionally how you're able to utilize it. So we'll just use that example again with the MTHFR and the B vitamins. And I'll use myself as an example. So there's a gene, and I'll do this in another video because that's a whole other video itself just about MTHFR. But MTHFR is a, is a gene where there are two spots on it that you could have some mutations. And um, the new term out there is, is poor methylators. Autistic children are considered to be poor methylators. And um, that's based on this gene, the MTHFR. Now, at each of those spots, you can have none, one, or two mutations. I'm in one of the worst scenarios that you can be in. I have two mutations at that gene. And so what does that mean for me? That means that I require much, much higher dosages of B6, B12, and folinic acid than someone who doesn't have any mutations at all. So naturally, I'm just at a disadvantage. Again, no matter how much kale and B vitamins I'm, I'm eating in my food naturally, I probably will always need to supplement with a special form of B6, B12, and folinic acid, pre-methylated. Um, so I sort of override um, my genetics and help that pathway continue to run. So if you checked my level of B12 in my body, in my serum, which is what um, some conventional doctors do, is they'll check a B12 level in your serum just in the blood. And what that tells me is just what that level is, how much is floating around. Well, as an example with me, since I'm taking a lot of B6, B12, and folinic acid, my levels could be very, very high because I'm taking a lot of it. But if you look at functionally how my body's able to utilize that based on my genetics, my environmental inputs, I may be still low. I might need even more because I'm you know, having trouble overriding that system because we live in Texas and there's lots of mercury from coal burning plants that, um, that you know, blow over us. And so I could actually need even more B vitamins. And this test will help me tell that. What is my body functionally doing with what I'm putting into my body. So this is why I love it more. Um, I mean, besides the stool test, this part of this test is probably my second um, favorite test. It really gives a lot of information about energy pathways, all of the B vitamins, detox pathways, and those are all things that I personally um, have trouble with until I did this testing on myself and went through the whole functional medicine uh, model and pathway and, and uh, fixed my gut, changed my diet, and, and started supplementing. So the um, last several pages of this test, again, this is it looking at the urine. And again, this person's doing pretty, pretty well. Um, typically what I see for most people on these tests, if we're ordering it, things are typically you're fairly sick. So um, the first part of the test, I typically see everything is very low, um, not getting enough of the amino acids and, um, and needing to correct that. And then typically on this test, I see everything's very high. And it's sort of the opposite of the first part of the test. The first part of the test is kind of you're low in something, you're low in something. This part of the test is sort of like that homocysteine that I brought up. Homocysteine rises in the blood when you're deficient in B6, B12, and folinic acid. So in this um, part of the test, when something's high, it means that it's built up in your urine because you're missing something else for that pathway to run. 
And so this person doesn't have too many H's. Again, I typically see people who have, you know, tons and tons of H's in this whole page and next several pages is full of H's, meaning that they're having a lot of imbalances. But again, this is really looking at energy pathways. Um, this is looking at all the B vitamins, B1, 2, 3. This here is looking at B12 specifically and folinic acid. So those are the two markers that I like to look at rather than a serum level of B12. Um, goes in and looks at neurotransmitters, which is one of the reasons we were doing the test, typically for someone if they're having mood, mind issues. Goes in and looks at their detox pathways, um, whether they need more um, magnesium, more um, NAC, alpha lipoic acid, things to help stimulate glutathione, um, the biggest detoxifier in our body. And then finally, the last part of the test goes and looks at the upper gut. So they're small bowel, and this is where I would look for um, things like small bowel bacterial overgrowth. It looks for um, also candida or yeast in the upper gut as well, which it looks like this person, um, again, not in the red, but likely has. So as you can see, this is a very, very comprehensive test um, and probably the test that I order, you know, third most in my visit, but we would go over that. Some people do this instead of the food sensitivity test, just, um, you know, for cost reasons, and it seems like more bang for your buck with this test. Um, it's a, again, very, very comprehensive test that has really helped me help um, many, many of the sickest patients that I see. So, you know, if you're suffering from autoimmune, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, um, or um, ADD, anxiety, depression, autism, any of those types of things, or you really just want to know what's your current state of health, highly recommend that you come see me or find a functional medicine practitioner in your area and get one of these tests done. It, it personally changed um, my life, and I see it change many people's every day. So anyway, any comments are uh, appreciated below on the blog. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. I'll be happy to get back with you. Um, come follow us over at Facebook, Amy Myers MD. Love to see you there. And um, pass it along to anybody that you think could uh, benefit from this test. Take care.